Today I'm going to do a review of the Orca Torch D850 primary dive light. So I'm going to start off with a quick part run, followed up by a more detailed and extensive part two. Hopefully not too boring. But here's everything you get with the uh, Orca Torch light. You get this carrying case. You get the light itself. The light has five Cree LED lights. At the high level it runs at 2500 lumens and you can get a burn time of about three and a half hours on the high level. The light takes two lithium rechargeable batteries. They're the uh, 26650 size, 5000 milliamps. The light also includes an international charger. Mine came with a USA plug adapter, also a cigarette lighter adapter. The light also includes a wrist lanyard. And there's also a spot for hooking up a handle if you want a handle on your light. The light takes three O-rings, and they also include three replacement O-rings as well. So um, that's it, on to part two. So the Orca Torch D850, this is gonna be your primary dive light as opposed to a video light, or of course your backup light. The main style of diving that I do currently is video dives. This is my video setup right now. So I have an Orca Torch D810D video light I've had these for several years. I love the Orca Torch D810V. It's just, for me, it's just a perfect combination of size, power, and runtime. The Orca Torch D810V has a 120 degree angle and no hot spot. And so that's really what you need for video. But the problem is, with the video light, it's gonna light up the area around you, but it's not gonna be very good for penetrating off in the distance. So when I'm diving, I wanna be able to Video tent my critters that I'm finding up close, but I want to be able to search and find new critters off in the distance. So that's where this is a, going to be a real good tool for that. So the Orca Torch D850 is going to have a six degree spotlight. And so that's going to give you a nice hot spot for penetrating off in the distance. And there's also a lot of nice extra throw that lights up a bigger, bigger area as well. Now the other style of diving that I do is I do occasional lobster dive. So for lobster dive, I like having hands-free lighting. And when I started diving, I used a Blackwater 3000 headlamp. It's a halogen light, it's out of my head here, I had a separate battery pack I attached to my tank, and that worked great for a while. But once I started doing video, I like videotaping myself catching lobster as well. So then I switched to the Knight Rider HID lights, and those hung on each side of my head. I put the GoPro here, so they gave nice food lighting. But then I had the problem of seeing off in the distance. What I do now, so I have a video light on my mask, and so the video light allows me to do hands-free lobster grabbing. The plus gives a nice smooth light with no hot spot that messes up your video. And then I like having a more penetrating light hanging on my VC that I can, I can hunt with, and then let that go, and then switch to my video light for lobster grabbing. Now one thing I really like about the D850 is that it uses a standard lithium rechargeable battery. So Orca Torch includes two batteries with the light. The light takes both of these batteries. This battery is a lithium ion, it's a rechargeable, it's a 26650. That's a standard size that you can find. A lot of testing with the light. So I also tested a couple e 26650 batteries as well. A lot of dive lights now use lithium rechargeables. So a couple of the main sizes that are used are the 26650 or the 18650. So this will give you an idea of the difference in size of the battery. Now the battery that comes with the Orca Torch light, it has a built-in protection circuit. So that makes the battery safer. It's gonna protect the battery from being charged too high, an overcharge, or overly discharged, or against a short circuit. The battery that I also tested doesn't have protection built in. So the smartest thing is just to use, or the safest thing is just to use the battery that came with the Orca Torch, but the battery that has protection built in, the Orca Torch, you can see is a little bit taller to accommodate that protection circuit. So I've always had a pet peeve against battery packs, especially after my experience with Knight Rider, they ended up going out of business, so then it was hard to service my light, I had to figure out how to get battery packs built, and then a lot of lights now, you might get discontinued, you might need a new battery pack for your light, you can't find it any longer, or if you have the experience like I had with Knight Rider, the company's out of business, so you can't go to them anymore for a battery pack. So all those problems go away if you can just source the batteries on your own. Now, if you are gonna mess around, wouldn't recommend it, but if you are gonna mess around with using a non-protected battery, I'd recommend getting a voltage meter. Always monitor the voltage on your batteries. You wanna make sure those batteries are always in sync, because these batteries, when they go on your light, they're gonna be connected in series. 
So it essentially becomes one big battery. So you want to discharge the batteries together, recharge them together, make sure the voltages are always kind of matched up and their age the same. So you're always paying attention to that. You want to be kind of handle about your batteries. Okay, so the uh, Orca Torch D850, it has three levels. I mainly tested the high level, but when you first turn it on, it's gonna go be in the highest level, then you have a medium and a low. There's sometimes where you might think that the high level is a little bright, so you can switch to medium, medium or low. Or, if you're looking to extend your run time, then you'll suck one of the lower levels. But if you're just doing a single dive, selecting high is going to be plenty long enough. But at some point during the dive, or during the run time, it's going to, it's going to step down to about power level two. When I test the two batteries, the EFES batteries maintain a brighter level for a little bit longer than the Orca Torch batteries. So my understanding is that the protection circuit that's built into the battery can increase the impedance and that resistance might stop the light from getting as bright as it can with the battery without protection built in. And that's, that was my experience that the um, DFS battery ran a little bit brighter, but you'll probably be perfectly happy with just using the Orca Torch batteries. Okay, the light also has a safety feature. So you don't want to throw the light in your dye bag, have the button get pressed accidentally and have the light turn on. Wouldn't it be good? So what you can do, you can hold the button down for five seconds And then the light will power off, and now to turn the light back on, you have to do a double press. So a nice little power feature built into the light. Now the light also has a base, so you can mount a handle on the bottom. Now I've done most of my testing in high. So Orca Torx promotes that you can achieve a 3.5 hour run time in high. So my experience is, yeah, you'll get close to that as a run time, but at some point during the dive, it'll drop off to about power level 2 to maintain that long run time. But power level two is still really bright. There's not that big of a difference between power level one and power level two. But power level one is really, really bright. Okay, so I've tried a lot of dive lights over the years. So after I migrated away from Knight Rider, I started using the hands-free video light on my mask. But I also wanted to have a light for looking off into the distance. So I've tried, I've tried this light. This has about a three degree spot, but the problem with it Three degrees is a little tight, and also the light's a little yellow compared to the Orca Torch. And the Orca Torch has a nice white light, so on the Kelvin scale, it's right at that nice white level. If you get a little more Kelvin, it's going to start to turn a little blue, a little less, the light's going to be a little yellow. So my favorite, my favorite backup light is my Orca Torch D500. So this has about an eight degree spot. And this uses the 18650 size battery. And so this is a nice, and the benefit of the, this light is it's a smaller light, you, you, you can put it in your pocket, it's a you know, little, little bit easier to deal with. Where the D850 is a little larger, a little heavier. Now in battery voltages, I always like double checking my charges. So at a full charge, they're called a 3.7 volt battery, but at full charge, it should be about 4.2 volts. So I'll always, I'll always monitor my voltage. I'll make sure that they're fully charged before I do my dive. So I like monitoring my batteries for the voltage meter. So after I take them up the charger, I'll double check to make sure that they're at 4.2 volts or close. It's good to shut off around 4.19, 4.2. If you have a charger that's charging over that, that's not good. You want the batteries to cut off at that 4.2, 4.19 area. And the other thing I've started doing is I've done more research. I used to store my batteries fully charged. Now I store them at 3.7 volts. So that's about a 50% charge. That's a good storage voltage for when you're not going to use your uh, light for a, for a little while. And it's going to help extend the life of your batteries. And I also uh, put dates on my batteries as I receive them. So then a couple of years, I kind of know how old my batteries are. All right. Well, let's go for a dive. Okay, tonight's the big Orca torch test. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just got back from taking the Orca Torch on its first dive. Love the light, worked great, and last night was an amazing situation. Done dozens of dives at the Redondo Submarine Canyon for the first time ever. There was an invasion of tuna crabs, so it was a really fun dive. And so the Orca Torch worked really good for looking for stuff out in the distance. Had a nice bright hot spot that really penetrated well. All my friends dropped down with their lights and we decided to do a little film of the uh, light, so it's kind of sure how good you can tell on the video, but the Orca Torch had the brightest, largest hot spot. One of the ice had a light that was a little bit wider, some had one that was a little bit narrower. You can see some of the different colors, some light, there was a couple lights that were a little bluer on the Kelvin scale. But the Orca Torch, yeah, it was really powerful and it maintained a lot of nice power through the, through the end of the dive. So yeah, so really happy with how it worked out. And it worked out good, I just had it hanging like this, let me say I could, I could hold up like this. Now when I go to do video, I just let go and then grab, switch my video system because yeah, that hot spot is gonna you know, not be really, not make for pleasant video usually. So in summary, very happy with the light. It's super powerful in the highest mode, it's really bright and that eight degree spot just really penetrates so you can see way off into the distance. I even found myself in the shallows when I was kind of swimming shot, I kind of turned it down to medium because that that high mode was a little overpowering at times, but there's times that the high power mode is very useful for, you know, seeing way off in the distance. They also like that you can uh, use the Orca Torch batteries, or I can find my own third party batteries as well. And there's also nice to have backup batteries waiting in the wings, so if you are doing multiple dives, you can pop out the batteries, pop in your fresh batteries, and be good to go. And so yeah, so I'd, I'd give it a big recommendation. So the dive light video that will never die. I just walked in from the mailbox where you see my new handle that I want to try on the light. And the reason I wanted to try a handle 
When I was diving with the light, I want to keep it clipped here so I can let go when I'm shooting video or grabbing a lobster. And so holding the light like this wasn't the greatest, but now I can hold the light like this. And this handle I found also has a clip. So my new primary dive light, getting all dialed in. <laughs>